everybody, Rebecca Louise here. Today we've got some Christmas food. So maybe you're at a family or friend's house over like Christmas and you just want to get that workout in. Well, move all their furniture around. No, I'm just kidding. Um, we're going to be using the table and using the sofa as well. So no need to go to the gym. So if you're feeling tired or sluggish and want to get a quick workout in, this is the one that's going to be perfect for you. We're going to start off with a little warm up. So come over to your sofa. Okay, and we're just going to step up and down. See, nice and easy. We can use all the different tools that we have in the house. Nice, healthy, and fit. Good job. Okay, come on. Just really want to try to get low. We're going to keep it nice and low today. On this sofa, we're going to do varied things on the sofa, using the table. And if you don't have a table in your living room, then I'm going to all alternative so you can use something else. That's it. Good job. Okay, so keep it nice and low, so not coming up to the top. Just getting that heart rate up a little bit. And then we're going to go work. So that's it, give you a few more of these. Bring that knee into the chest. Woo, good job. Been excited for Christmas. Ready to go. Okay, come down. Okay, come down. We're gonna work that booty. Down on the floor. Now maybe if you've got a wooden floor, you might want to put a mat down. I've got some nice comfy carpet here. Might want a mat as well. So what we're gonna do is you're gonna put your feet onto the table, so just kind of resting on like this, okay? And we're gonna lift up, squeezing those glutes as we get to the top. So you guys have done bridges before. This time we're just gonna use it on the table just to get a little bit more extra and just to vary it up a bit as well. Because you know what it's like sometimes when you exercise, you're like, oh my god, I'm so bored. We're gonna keep it nice and interesting today. Now let's try and not put our booty down all the way onto the ground. So pick it back up again and squeeze. You're going to really start to feel it in those glutes. Now hold it up to the top here and give me a five second squeeze. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, let's do another step. Oh, you thought you were going to relax. Oh, no, 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 no. Come on, keep it going. And then up we go. Squeeze. Those glutes as you get to the top. You really want to contract those muscles so that you're using Okay, now we're gonna hold it here and you're gonna extend one leg out. Ooh, okay, that's it. So we're gonna hold it here for five, four, three, two, one. Here, and let's go back up and down. Come on, really squeeze those glutes as you get to the top. Push your pelvis up to the sky. And we're gonna do the other leg. So up you go, hold it, extend that leg out, squeeze for me. Come on, five, four, three, two, one. So adding some cardio, so maybe you've eaten maybe an extra cheat chocolate today and you want to burn that off. So what we're going to do here is we're going to come up and we're going to hold and then down, okay? So it's slightly different to the first one, but we're just going to be working our balance a little bit more. So working that core. So that's it, come up, squeeze, and down. Squeeze. Are we feeling good? You know what, I always feel so much better once I've done the workout. You know, those days that I miss it, I'm like, oh, should have done it, should have got it in earlier. So I'm right there with you, we can do this together. Okay, let's hold it, squeeze. Good job, so contracting those muscles, is going to be working those abs too. Nice work, come up, squeeze in, and down. Okay, give me one more, and then we're going to come back, and we're going to be working those arm muscles, okay? So you're going to come onto your table. Now, you're holding a plank before, so you're going to get into a nice plank position, okay? And you're just going to squeeze those elbows, and push up. So it's just a tricep push up, okay? So make sure that your hands are nice and comfortable on the table, you're not going to slip, and you can go down and squeeze up. And you really want to make sure that your elbows, okay, are coming in towards your waist. Now if this is too difficult, I want you to come down to your knees, okay? You want to make sure that your weight is forward, and you're just going to squeeze in and out. Okay, so those elbows are really, really close. I don't want anyone like this, okay? This head chicken is not going to work. So let's keep it going. Five more. Five. Four. Nice and slow and controlled. And just two more. We're going to go back onto that couch. Squeeze in. One more. Up you go. Hold it. Actually, let's hold a little plank on the top here. Come on. Because we're going to do ten seconds. So squeeze in those abs. Okay, keep those arms nice and strong. Remember, we always have a slight bend in those elbows so that we're just protecting our joints. So just squeeze in there. 
awesome. So this time we're going to do like a double up. So you're going to go up, two legs, and then down. So like this, one, two, down. So we're just speeding it up. Come on, give me a nice smile too. You can get there. Don't stop. This is when your body starts to really work. And we've only done five minutes of exercise, which is super awesome. We're getting our heart rate up, but this is not the time to stop. See, if I look somewhere else, if I can look at you guys, I'm going to lose my balance. That's it. Good stuff, everyone. Come on, let's keep it going. I want you to really push yourself. You're not going to get that body just by walking through this. Come on, keep it going. Harder. Come on, we've got abs next. Everyone's favourite. Just give me a few more. Burn those extra calories. Squeeze. Last one. Okay, good job. Next time, we're going to come down to the ground. I'm going to work those abs. So, if you've got a sofa, um, or a table, and you want to lock your feet, your toes underneath the table. Okay, so you're going to come down. This is going to help you, so you're going to come up, touching the side of the table, and then slowly come down. Okay, let's go. And the reason I say slowly is because we really want you to make sure that you're feeling all those muscles, okay, all those ab muscles, and you're protecting your spine as well. So it's kind of nice and slowly down. Okay? So that's it, good job. Now, if you don't have a table or sofa that you can stick your feet under, this is a great exercise that you can do with a friend as well, because they can hold onto your feet, it's going to help you sit up all the way, because sometimes when we start to do ab exercises, you know, maybe we can't do a full sit up, and you know what, that doesn't matter at all, because if you've only tried to do a full sit up a couple of hundred times and you still can't do it, that doesn't matter, because you're in the right direction, so make sure you just keep working and practicing, and you'll get up there. Come on, keep going. I didn't tell you to stop. I might be chatting, but I'm still working. So keep it going. We're going to do legs after our next lot of cardio, and then you're going to be completed. Nice and easy. Good to get some workout stuff in for the Christmas dinner. Woo! Okay, nice work. Let's give me two more. Squeeze. Okay, let's make this last one nice and slow. Okay, let's go down together. Ready? Let's count. Five. Four, three, two, one, and release. Okay, back onto that sofa. Remember that the original one that we did? It's going to go up and down. Let's go. So bring in. And the reason that I've got my arms like quite tight, if you're wondering, okay, is because I want to keep them nice and strong so that I'm burning more fat. Do you want to burn more fat? Okay, great. Let's really keep those arms strong. You can do this. Keep nice and low. Squeeze those abs. Do not stop now. You've got your legs to go. One more set of cardio. And then you can relax. Okay, squeeze it in. Woo! Come on, guys. You can keep doing this. I'm counting on you. I don't want to be doing this alone. Okay, two more on each side. Keep breathing. And then your last one. Okay, great job. Shake out those arms, shake out those legs. I'm going to go on to leg exercises. Okay, so put one leg up onto the table. On something that's rested, that's nice and solid, so you're not going to fly all over the place. And, okay, so you're just going to squat down. This is really going to be good for your balance. You want to come up onto your top toe. You want to squeeze your abs in, okay? And just keep your chest up. And you're really going to be working this front muscle here. This is going to be working your abs too, because this takes a lot more balance just the normal squats that we do, the normal pulses. Okay, five, four, three, two, one. Change over, nice and slow, you don't want any injuries. Okay, so maybe you don't want to wear socks with this because it can be a little bit slippery. So get yourself prepared, bend that front leg, lift up that back toe, and then you're gonna go down. Okay, lift up the back heel, sorry. And you're just gonna go down the squat. Can you get a little bit lower? Woo! Really starting to feel the work in that hamstring. Feel the work in the quad and in the glutes. And pull in that tummy as well. Oh, we've got it all going on. Okay, five, four, three, two, one. Release. Last bit of cardio. We're going to go up and we're going to do hold. Okay, just going to do five of these. Six of these, sorry. So hold. Hold. Shake out those arms 
and blends. At least if you did have that extra chocolate off the tree, you won't be feeling too bad because you've worn all the calories off. So make sure that you keep checking back. We've got so many more, more workouts coming for you. My name's Rebecca Louise. Brilliant working out with you guys today. I'll see you again soon.